Welcome to the channel. I make videos about various DIY projects and products and pass on what I learned to you and have a little fun in the process. A few days ago, I bought and mounted a Liberty Navigator rotating garden hose reel. In this video, I will show you its features, how it works, and what's involved in mounting it. I will also share with you what I think of it. There's a lot of garden hose reels out there. I wanted one that was wall mountable, has a swivel feature, will hold at least 100 feet of hose, and is strong and durable. And it needs to look good, or I'll be here in the doghouse. The Liberty Navigator hose reel, model 710, looks like this. It's designed to be wall mountable with what appears to be a very solid mounting flange. It swivels 360 degrees, where I'll mount it, I only need 180. It claims to hold 125 feet of 3 8 hose. The horizontal spacing of the mounting holes is 16 inches, a common spacing for wooden stud framing. This is a good design feature that makes mounting on two vertical studs easy in most situations. The mounting holes are 3 8 inch diameter. This needs to be mounted to a masonry wall, studs, or some other strong surface. If you're mounting this on a wooden surface, 3 8 or 5 16 lag bolts would work very nicely. I mounted this to a center block wall using lag bolts and lag shields. If you're finding this video helpful, please give it a like. If you're not familiar with lag bolts and lag shields, this is how they work. This is the lag bolt, this is the lag shield, You'll see as you tighten it up, this becomes wider at this end and separates and that, so when that expands, uh, that expansion will form a tight fit inside of a hole. Just kind of make a demonstration of this. Put a little bit in there, a little bit of twist, put the assembly in and you've got to get a little tight so there's a little bit of friction and then you can just tighten it up. All right, that'll, all right, that will become tight. Obviously you want to put a wrench on it and that'll tighten it up even more. That's how it works. I use one and three quarter inch long, three eighths inch diameter leg bolts and leg shields. The leg shields available at my local Lowe's and Home Depot were longer than I wanted. I also wanted stainless steel hardware that would not rust. I ordered the hardware from BoltDepot.com and got exactly what I wanted. I'm a big fan of Bolt Depot. They have every imaginable type of fastener, every size, every thread type. Many are available in stainless. Their prices are good and they don't kill you on shipping. I put a link below. The 3 8 lag shields require a 5 8 diameter hole. I drilled the 4 5 8 diameter holes using a Bauer rotary hammer drill from Harbor Freight. You get away with drilling the holes with a common rotary drill or a hammer drill using a masonry bit. With a rotary hammer drill, it's quicker and requires less human force. The drill does the hard work. With the holes drilled, mounting the base shelf was straightforward. The hose rail was easy to attach to the base shelf with three small Allen bolts. These bolts, nuts, and an Allen wrench are included. The hose reel comes with a five foot long leader hose. One end attaches here to the hose reel, the other end attaches to the water spigot. If you're mounting the hose reel in close proximity to the water spigot, this hose should be plenty long enough. In my case, I'm mounting it some distance from the spigot. My spigot's located right over here behind this bush, probably a little hard to see, but uh, so I'm going to connect it to a 15 foot hose which is here, and I'll hook that up right now. To attach the hose, first thing to be aware of is if you have a large fitting like this, it's not going to align very well with the fitting on the hose reel. It's just slightly off axis. I probably could jam it on there, maybe bend this tube a little bit. Um, I'm not going to risk that. I certainly don't recommend it. Um, but that's really not a problem. If you have a more conventional type hose with a little smaller fitting, 
such as this. It'll thread right on there, no problem. Uh, or if you have a hose with a larger fitting, easy thing to do is just cut the end and then put on one of these um, fittings. That you can just hook right on, just cut it, hook right onto the hose. Uh, it'll thread right on two, no problem. Uh, and it'll work just fine. Well, we'll roll it up. The hose really rolls up very easily. I have two pieces of hose on here. The first piece is 37 feet. This is 5 8 inch hose. And here's the second piece. This is 62 feet. So together, these two hoses will be 99 feet. Alright, and there we are. Okay, so that's 99 feet of hose. Uh, the advertising for this says it'll take 125 feet of hose. I think that's a little bit of a stretch, but probably if you wrapped it really tightly, uh, you could do it, but certainly it's very comfortable with uh, with 100 feet of hose. I didn't make any great effort to roll it up really tight, as you saw. Another nice feature this has is there's a little adjustment screw on the bottom. It'll put a little bit of tension on this so it doesn't unwind quite so easily. And then also when you unroll it, it'll stop without just continuing to to wind. I think I'm probably going to put a little more tension on that, but it's, uh, it's I kind of like it to stop right there, but it just needs a little more tension, which I'll do. Just use this little Allen screw, comes with it, and there's a little, little adjustment uh, right there. This is very strong and solid. It could probably stand on it, although I'm not going to. This is the reel that rotates. 360 degrees. Uh, you just pull this knob up. It has several locking positions. You can lock it there or lock it at like a 45 or lock it at a 90 or if you twist this uh, like that then it'll just free wheel spin uh, any way you want to go with it. One thing to keep in mind is the orientation of your leader hose. So if you do want it all the way around like that, uh, where you'd have the crank on the other side, you're going to need a slightly longer leader hose. So just something to, something to be aware of. This base shelf gives you a lot of options. You can put your gardening tools here. You can put your bug spray here. You can put a flower here. You can decorate it for Halloween. You can even park your beer here. I'm very pleased with this hose reel. If you're interested, it's available from many sources. For my research, Amazon had the best price at $106.39. Please give this video a like and thank you for watching. So there you have it. It's awesome. And I want to thank my trusty assistant. It's, couldn't have done it. I'll be sure to include her in the credits. Hit this to watch more Nettle Reef DIY and product videos. Hit this to subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you for watching.